that utter dismay of realizing that you have no corkscrew when you're on a picnic or at the beach or on vacation or anywhere. Devastating. Hi there, I'm Wine Dine Caroline and you're watching Learn Wine with Caroline. Today we're going to talk about screw top wines. If you love my real wine tips, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. To go with this video, I've made a free supermarket wine cheat sheet. Head to the description to get that download. So, how long does screw top wine last unopened? As we talked about in my video about aging wine, most wine isn't meant to sit around for a long time. And that goes for wine under screw tops and corks. Which do you like better, cork or screw top? I wanna to see your answer in the comments. Before we answer the question about how long screw top wines will last before they're opened, let's take a step back and look at what screw caps are all about. Screw caps showed up on the market in the 70s on Australian wines and kind of randomly Swiss wines under the brand name Stelvin, which you still hear people use in the wine industry. They took a while to become popular because like any new technology, people didn't really get it. And here in France, they still don't. They kind of came and went until the 2000s when producers in Australia and New Zealand really shifted hard towards them. And now you find them on wines all over the world, although they're still more popular outside of Europe. Screw tops are awesome. They're easy to use both at home for restaurants or bar servers. They're awesome for picnics, especially picnics. You know what I'm talking about. That utter dismay of realizing that you have no corkscrew when you're on a picnic or at the beach or on vacation or anywhere. Devastating. You know what I'm talking about. Screw caps eliminate cork taint, which you can learn more about in my video about cork twine, which is linked here. The thing about cork is that since it's made from tree bark, it's a finite resource. And so the good stuff gets allocated pretty quickly. So for wineries half a world away from the cork trees and the generations of strong ties between cork producers and European wine producers, it made more sense to develop a better system. Here in Europe, they're still pretty rare. I think that wine producers know that they're good, but consumers are still brainwashed to think that they mean the wine is crappy. And adopting screw tops also means a pretty big investment in new bottling machines, and the actual closures themselves are expensive, so it's understandable that winemakers here can't really be bothered. Once and for all, for the record, screw caps have nothing to do with wine quality. Plenty of amazing wine is in bottles with screw tops, so if you ever hear anyone shit on screw tops, please tell them they're an idiot for me. They have a better seal than cork, so they'll even give you an extra couple days of freshness after the wine is open. But that's not what we are here for today. Today we're here to talk about how long unopened wine lasts under screw top. So, the answer to that is similar to aging any wine. It really depends on how you treat it and whether or not the wine is meant to age. Keep it away from the light in a cool place with minimal temperature fluctuations. And these wines should last for a very long time. In theory, the minimal amounts of oxygen that a cork lets in will help it develop and age, whereas a screw cap should really have a better seal. So wine under screw cap would age more slowly than wine under cork. Is this a good thing? Depends on who you ask. I would rather drink aged wine before my deathbed, so I don't think needing to age for 50 or 70 years is particularly desirable, but there's no indication at all that screw caps hurt wines as they age. If anything, they remove some of the faults that can be caused by corks. But just remember, for the most part, there's really no reason to age your wine. It's probably ready to be drunk now. It probably just is, unless you know what you're doing. Um, it's probably ready to be drunk now. That's it for today. I hope you like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my free downloadable supermarket cheat sheet for some practical tips to help you navigate that wine aisle. Cheers.